god for like two weeks or maybe like three on YouTube. I'm not completely sure. But there's a reason why I have been away. If you guys follow me on Twitter or on Instagram, you would have seen me post a couple of pictures of when I was on holiday in Nigeria. So yeah, I went on holiday to Nigeria with my family. Um, I'm Nigerian, if you guys don't already know. Um, my name is Ife. Um, people call me Ify because I can't pronounce the E uh, in Ife. So I had such a good, good time in Nigeria. I have, I've been before, but um, I haven't been in about five or six years. So this was the first time in a really, really long time that I went to Nigeria. And I had such a good time. And I did want to vlog like properly, but when you go to these countries, you can't just be walking around with some 400 pound camera in your hand or like just any camera like I'm just too scared that if I'm just walking around with it people like people look at me anyway because they know I'm from abroad but when they see me holding a camera up they'll be like yeah that's money I'm stealing that so I don't want that to happen so I didn't really properly vlog I did take my phone so I did take a like quite a few pictures and I tried to vlog a little bit at first but it didn't work out but I'll just talk you through what I did do when I was there and show you the little bits that I did capture on my phone. So yeah. So what I'm going to be explaining to you, I'm going to be looking at my phone because that way I know like the timeline of how everything happened. So obviously we got the plane there. Um, me and my sister were just like this. So we were just together the whole time, but we were just being so silly. I'm sure my parents were getting annoyed with us, but um, in the plane we were just doing silly things. <laughs> and I didn't know, the flight was really good. Um, obviously Nigeria was quite big, so when we got there, there was we had to travel. Um, my dad's side of the family lives in Akure in Nigeria which is in Ondo states um so that was about five hours drive from Lagos because we um landed in Lagos um I think the first day we just saw family and then the next day which was a Saturday um and some ladies came to do our hair so this is the hair that is on my head right now let me tell you these people did not do my hair good they didn't do mine my sister's and my mum's hair good because they thought because we were from abroad they thought our scalps were sensitive so they decided not to pick our hair tight so this is like two or three week old hair and it's already looking crusty like this it's not okay but I did really like it when they did it and I'm still grateful like they worked hard it took literally two hours for two people to do all this hair so that's really good so I can't complain but yeah obviously me and my sister we had to take some selfies because you know you need to just remember these times in Nigeria yeah and then I tried to show you a little bit of our compound in Nigeria so this is our compound it's got a cute little tree in the middle that's our gate and this is just the around area that's the little garage but my uncle converted it into his little chicken farm this is our house my sister over there our car next door neighbor's house their house is beautiful but look it's just so beautiful guys and it's so hot so yeah it's really pretty And then it goes up all the way that way and this is just the side look at my sister <laughs> yeah so pretty and the car it's a bit bashed up but it's all good guys it's all good i showed you um the chickens that my uncle has so this is my uncle's little chicken farm how cute are they? Yeah. But yeah, um, he's trying to make a business out of it, so it's really cool. Um, and then I just showed you around the compound, around the house, it's so beautiful. There was coconut trees, orange trees, mango trees, and uh, the sad thing was that most of these fruits weren't even ripe. So I couldn't even enjoy the coconut, enjoy the coconut water fresh enjoy the oranges 
I couldn't. All I enjoyed was chicken and egg because it was readily available. But yeah, I still enjoyed the food there. But yeah, he did build that house himself and it's so beautiful and I love going back there because it always reminds me of back in the day because there was, um, I think when I was about 12, my parents sent me, my brother and my sister to Nigeria and we stayed there for about two months. We spent the whole summer holiday there. So it just reminded me of the time with my cousins and my grandma lives there So she and she has like a little shop where she sold like um, soap and like food and sweets and stuff and when we were there and um, we would help out in the shop and like be serving people in the shop so it was so like I don't know it was just so nice to go back and just remember all of those things but yeah I really missed that I really missed my family as well I don't realize how much I missed them until I saw them I was like oh my gosh and they've changed so much and it's just crazy and you know? Yeah. So the real reason that we actually went there was because my parents wanted to celebrate their 20th wedding anniversary and also they wanted to do their traditional wedding. So in Nigerian custom you always have a traditional wedding and you have a white wedding which is like in a church. But um, as I was born in Belgium my parents lived in Belgium so um, their family wasn't obviously there so they only had like the most basic basic registry so they just signed papers had a little party they didn't have a cake or anything so they finally decided to have their traditional wedding also because my granddad um asked my mum if she could do it because he's getting old now bless him i actually love my granddad so much but he's getting old now and he just wants um to be like to go to his daughter's traditional wedding so my parents did that um this time round and we were luckily there to experience it and see how it's all done because i've never been to a nigerian traditional wedding before but it was really good from the bits that i saw of it i didn't see all of it because i stayed with the bride my mum so um i didn't see all of it but it was so nice and we got to dress up girl i was feeling good about myself we had a makeup artist who did our makeup literally i don't even look like myself like these are the pictures does that even look like me but i was feeling myself like i thought i was a goddess on that day like my makeup oh my gosh it was just on point it's not everyday makeup like you can't wear that makeup on a daily basis because it's way too much. The contour, literally, I could see it on my nose, but I just left it because the pictures were going to come out good anyway. But I felt so good that day and my parents looked so cute. My mum looked so beautiful. Um, they had an outfit change and everything and they just looked so sweet and it was just like really nice to witness some of it. I'll insert some vlog clips like they're really choppy because I didn't really get to film like steadily but I'm um, just a little a few clips to see kind of what went on The night before, and um, we went um, to the venue, it was so beautiful. Like, they really know how to decorate things in Nigeria. It's, it was so nice. <laughs> And the hotel itself was so beautiful as well.
my dad literally he i swear he felt like a chief the way he was dancing he was just doing some slow dancing like this like you know how the beat of nigerian music is popular like, duh, duh, duh. and there was proper african drummers there and everything but he was just taking it easy like yeah i'm a chief yeah <laughs> But yeah, it was so sweet going there. Um, it was so nice seeing so many like family members that I haven't met before. Like right now, I can I can see their faces, but I can't remember their names to save the life of me. But it was so nice to meet like both sides of my family. Like my family is so big, like. It's actually crazy. My family is humongous. Even my parents don't know all their family because. I don't know, the elders back in the day, they just like women too much. So the rest of the holiday was really just spent with my family, just making the most out of everything, catching up and everything. And it was just such a lovely holiday. I don't know. I really miss Nigeria. I don't think I'd miss it this much, but I do actually really miss it. And my cousin and my aunties and everything, I just miss them. So what was that noise? So yeah, that's my holiday. Um, I know I probably explained this really badly, but I don't know. I'm just happy still from coming back from holiday. I've got that glow. I love that summer kind of sun-kissed glow that I get um, when I'm in the sun and the heat and in the summer. So I'm looking forward to the summer, girl. So now it's time to announce the giveaway winner. So um, thank you so much everyone for entering the giveaway, um, it's, it was so lovely seeing all the lovely comments that you've left about yourself, like it's so nice just seeing everyone being so positive about themselves and I don't know, it's just a good feeling so I'm really glad that all of you guys entered, I uh, will be doing some more giveaways in the future definitely, definitely, um, but now for the winner, so I use a num random number generator to choose well not to choose but to select the like who is gonna win and the winner is michelin michelin botang 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 i'll leave her name here but thank you so much for entering my giveaway um leave me hmm, how are you gonna do this if you're on twitter dm me and i'll dm me and then we will talk and then I'll sort everything out and send it out to you. But um, don't worry to you guys who didn't win. Um, I will be doing some more giveaways in the future. Fingers crossed. So, yes, you go girl, you won my giveaway. So um, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, leave me a comment on what you've been up to this Easter because I spent my, my holiday in Nigeria during Easter. So I'd love to know what you guys did during Easter and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. By the way, I don't know why I'm being so weird. I don't know. This sun does something to me. I'm I'm a spring baby. It's my birthday soon, guys. It's my birthday soon, but whew. This this summer just the sun just does something to me. So yeah, let me just go because I'm rambling on and you don't need to see this and yes. Look at how my face is doing. Okay, bye. <laughs>